In the high stakes world of battle rap, battles are always looking to make a splash and prove themselves against the best of the best. But has rising star Lozo bitten off more than he can chew by accepting a challenge that even the most seasoned veterans would think twice about? In an unprecedented move, Lozo has agreed to battle not one, but two of the most feared and respected names in the game, Tay Rock and Geechee Gotti. In the span of just 48 hours, is this a bold power play that will catapult Lozo into J. Black's Champion of the Year discussion? Or is it a foolhardy act of self-sabotage that will go down as one of the most epic career suicides in battle rap history? Let's take a closer look at the man, the matches, and the massive stakes involved. For those unfamiliar, Lozo is a rising force in battle rap known for his sharp lyricism, dynamic flow, and fearless competitiveness. Hailing from Tampa, Florida, Lozo first started gaining recognition on the Christian battle rap circuit before taking his talents to the big stage of the URL. Over his nine-year career, Lozo has steadily climbed the ranks, taking on many of battle rap's biggest names and scoring some impressive wins along the way. His recent back-to-back -back victories over veterans Danny Myers and the saga on URL events have solidified his status as a serious threat to the top tiers. But despite his accomplishments, there are still some who question whether Lozo truly belongs in the upper echelon of battle rap stars. In a culture obsessed with resume, classics, and moments, Loso has yet to check some of those boxes in the eyes of his harshest critics. Some dismiss him as a Christian battle rapper who relies too heavily on religious angles. Others say he's yet to have that singular career-defining performance against an elite tier opponent. It seems clear that these are criticisms Lozo has taken to heart. In interviews, he has expressed frustration at constantly having to fight against the perception that he's mid-tier rather than top-tier. He's on a mission to prove the doubters wrong and show that he can not only compete with the Mount Rushmore of battle rap, he can beat them. And what better way to do that than by knocking off two of them in a single weekend? Part two, the opponent. But to fully appreciate the audacity of the challenge Lozo has accepted, you have to understand exactly who he's going up against. First up on Friday night is none other than Tay Rock, the self-proclaimed gun bar king and one of the most feared opponents in battle rap. With over a decade in the game, Rock has faced and beaten nearly every big name in the sport. His relentless aggression, vivid gun talk, and vicious haymakers have made him URL's marquee star and a fan favorite. Right now, Rock is on an absolute tear. After a few uncharacteristic stumbles that had some questioning his drive, the Cave Gang General came roaring back with a run of dominant performances last year. At the moment, he's on a warpath collecting bodies as he chases champion of the year less than 48 hours after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rock, Loso will have to regroup and reload for another legend in Geechee Gotti. If there was any debate about who is URL's biggest rising star of the new era, Gotti ended it with his instant classic against Loaded Lux. The Compton Street King has an incredible streak of standout showings, making him the consensus one battle rapper in the world right now. Geechee's unparalleled consistency, authentic street talk, and uncanny ability to break down opponents' angles have made him untouchable. He already has three Champion of the Year belts under his belt and is the odds-on favorite to make it a four-peat this year. In fact, many fans see his matchup with Lozo as a mere tune-up fight as he coasts to another Cody. So to recap, in the next two days, Lozo will have to write for, memorize, and perform against two Mount Rushmore level all-time greats. One, the face of URL for the past decade. The other, the consensus best in the world at this very moment, with less recovery time than a normal sleep cycle. It's the kind of Herculean task that even the goats of battle rap would likely balk at. Hitman Holla, Loaded Lux, Hollow to Don, you'd have a hard time finding anyone on that level who would bite off more than they can chew like this. Most battlers at Loso's level would give an arm and a leg for a chance to face either Rock or Geechee under normal circumstances, let alone both in a single weekend. URL rarely makes matches between established vets and rising stars. There are too many politics and competing interests involved. Loso is getting a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity here, but is it a poison chalice? To the outside observer, this has all the makings of a career kamikaze mission battling two URL giants who happen to be the two frontrunners for Battler of the Year on such an insane turnaround feels like setting yourself up for humiliation. If Loso comes up short, won't it just prove the naysayers right that he was never on their level to begin with? 
Is the risk really worth the potential reward? Part three, higher stakes, higher rewards. According to Loso, the answer is an emphatic yes. In an exclusive interview, the Florida phenom broke down his rationale for taking the one in a million matchups. For him, it's not just about the mind-boggling payday, although he admits that did play a factor. It's a calculated gamble to change the entire trajectory of his career in a single weekend. As Loso explains it, at a certain point in your battle rap journey, you reach a fork in the road. You can either play it safe, be content with your position in the middle of the pack, and collect decent checks to be a perpetual gatekeeper. Or you can shoot your shot at immortality by doing something that's never been done. Sure, if he comes up short against Rock and Gotti, he'll take some lumps and bruise his pride. The Twitter trolls will have a field day clowning him and saying, I told you so. But in the grand scheme of things, those L's hurt a lot less than the potential W's help. Think about the legendary names who took similar gambles. When a young Hollow Dadan called out Loaded Lux, the untouchable king of battle rap, it was seen as an act of hubris bordering on insanity. When Murder Mook reemerged from a five-year layoff to battle Iron Solomon on short prep, they said he was out of his mind. In each of those cases, the underdog shocked the world and authored a new chapter in battle rap history. A great showing and a losing effort only made fans respect their heart. A win made them a legend overnight. That's the elite territory Loso is trying to catapult himself into. An incredible showing against Rock and a win over Geechee changes his career forever. It shatters the ceiling that he feels has been artificially placed on him and puts him in rarefied air. The risk is not as big as the potential reward in his eyes. Loso knows the odds are stacked against him, but he's always performed best when his back is against the wall. He has unwavering self-belief that he has the talent, penmanship, and composure to pull this off. While everyone is already writing him off, he's busy writing the rounds that will cement his legacy. Part four, writer's block. Of course, that's much easier said than done. Loso openly admits he's feeling the pressure of having to come up with three flawless rounds for two different opponents who require totally different approaches. For Tay Rock, it's all about punching harder and tapping into that street aggression to beat him at his own game. Rock is a master of controlling the pace and energy of a battle. His opponents have to match his intensity or risk getting bowled over. The pen has to be sharp enough to cut through Rock's bravado and show that Loso can bang with the best. With Geechee, the challenge is breaking down that laid-back, too-cool-for-school demeanor and getting under his skin. Angles that might rattle a lesser opponent bounce right off of Geechee. His unflappable authenticity means you can't really attack his character or backstory. Loso will have to get creative to find ways to flip Geechee's greatest strengths into weaknesses. Interestingly, Loso says that so far the bars for Rock are coming much easier than for Geechee. There's something about Rock's bombastic style and cave gang mannerisms that lends itself to being mimicked and lampooned. With Gatti, Loso is struggling a bit more to find unique angles of attack that haven't been done to death. But as any writer will tell you, inspiration tends to strike in unpredictable waves. Today's drought can be tomorrow's overflow. Even if the Geechee material is proving a bit elusive at the moment, all it takes is one eureka moment to get the juices flowing again. Still, there's only so many hours in a day to produce three rounds of top-tier material for two Mount Rushmore opponents. Loso knows he'll have to go into a monastic state of deep focus and shut out all distractions to pull this off. Social media blackout, no going out. Just eat, sleep, and write until his brain and his bars are battle-ready. When you factor in memorization, Loso estimates he'll have to lock in around 20. 25 minutes of complex rhymes, schemes, cadences, and angles in the space of a few weeks. It's a tall order for even the most seasoned vets, let alone someone balancing a side hustle with a 9-to-5. This is where Loso will have to treat battle rap like a boxer treats a prize fight. Everything gets stripped away except the essentials. Time with family and friends gets sacrificed. Personal hobbies and interests go on the back burner. Every waking hour is devoted to sharpening his sword so he can be at his sharpest when he steps into that ring. In the end, no one can predict how the night will go once the bells rings and the crowd roars. All that preparation on paper can fall apart if the moment swallows you up. But by putting himself through a self-imposed creative crucible now, Lozo is giving himself the best chance to rise to the occasion later. Part five, all eyes on Lozo. When the dust settles, it's possible, if not likely, that Lozo will walk away with at least one L. 
Even in a best case scenario where he slightly edges Rock in a debatable classic and beats Gotti in a clear but narrow victory, there will still be those who give Tay Rock the benefit of the doubt on the strength of his untouchable status and ring generalship. But in many ways, the final scorecards are almost besides the point. What Loso is chasing is bigger than wins and losses. It's about doing something epic and unforgettable that cements his name in the history books. It's about gaining the respect of his peers in the battle rap community at large. It's about showing the world the full breadth of his abilities and answering every question about his ceiling. In 48 hours, Loso will either be the laughing stock of battle rap or its newest superstar. The entire culture will be locked into this battle rap equivalent of a high wire circus act, waiting with bated breath to see if he soars or falls. But whether he flies or flames out, no one will ever be able to say he didn't swing for the fences. Loso didn't get to this point by being a wallflower. From the very beginning, he's made it clear that he's cut from a different cloth than most. Where others see an unwinnable scenario, he sees a chance to do the impossible. Where others wilt under the bright lights, he shines like a beacon. In the end, this weekend will serve as the ultimate litmus test for Loso's career. It's the culmination of nearly a decade of grinding on the battle circuit, fighting for respect from crowds, and working twice as hard as everyone else just to get half the recognition. All of that toil, all those trials and tribulations have been leading up to this singular moment. Now it's time for Loso to show and prove in front of the world, to silence every critic, doubter, and detractor in one fell swoop, to do what no man has ever done before and make it look effortless, to bet on himself like his life depended on it and come up aces. What will happen when the bell rings and the world is watching? Will the pressure crush Loso or will he emerge refined like a diamond? Can he deliver not one, but two Pantheon-level performances against two era-defining giants in the span of a single weekend? Loso's going all in, he's giving it his best. Kichi and Rock, the pressure is on. The pressure is on. From these kinds of things, stars are born. Yeah, yeah. Hey there, battle rap fans. Did you know that an incredible 93% of you watching right now aren't subscribed to the channel? That's a lot of content you might be missing out on. Tap in and subscribe so we can keep cooking. Each subscription is a vote for more quality content, more epic stories, and a stronger community. I'm your host, Battle Rap Algorithm, from the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap. See you next week. It's the Algorithm Institute of Battle Rap. They say they videos the best, and that they all of that. The Battle Rap Algorithm, yeah, I'm ballin' with them. Not like them other bloggers compromised by the system, no.